Welcome as we meet the stars of the Rugby League World Cup. I am Pat Mullahan. Joining me is James Graham. And James, it's always the big clubs that provide the superstars that can really turn these sort of tournaments. And the Roosters, mate, they are going to have players everywhere. Yeah, they're absolutely talent stacked. And today we're joined by one of their best. That's Joey Manu. Joey, you've been on absolute fire for the Roosters. But just how excited are you about the end of season World Cup? Yeah, very excited. Uh... Obviously played with the Kiwi side in the mid-year test, so we've got a great team. Um, a lot of good good teams in this competition, so I'm looking forward to it. New Zealand, you're ranked number one at the moment, but obviously there hasn't been a lot of football. Is that a fair ranking, do you think? Yeah, I'm not too sure how they uh, rank games. Uh, obviously, Australia's been up at the top for a long time. Uh, but yeah, as a team uh, in New Zealand, and uh, the Kiwis, we feel pretty confident in uh, where we I want to be, so I think this tournament will sort of show you uh, who's number one. Joey, it's fair to say that the Kiwis have been a bit up and down over the years. Just how important is consistency going into this World Cup? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, well, this is my first uh, World Cup, so um, I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, going to be something different playing in the Kiwis jumper uh, sort of every week. Um, but yeah, I've grown up to watch a few of the World Cups and like likewise in that 2008 World Cup where you didn't know what was going to happen. Um, so I think uh, this team is a, a lot different. Um, you know, we, we, we expect ourselves to win. So, um, yeah, we've got a great team and we just want to um, sort of build on that. You must be drawing some amazing confidence from the fact that New Zealand has some of the best players in rugby league in the world at the moment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think, yeah, a lot of um, the boys in best playing um, now is some of the best in their positions um, and I feel like uh, every team's going to be tough this this year so um, I think yeah it's going to be all over the place but um, yeah I feel like it's going to be good. Joey can you tell us what you've made of so many players switching their allegiances and what does it mean for this tournament? Yeah yeah no it's, uh, oh, it's not yeah it's, it's exciting it's, um, seeing some of those boys represent um, those different nations and it just makes the comp uh, a bit stronger I feel like it's probably the strongest it's been in uh, where it's not just Australia, New Zealand or England. It's um, a lot of different um, nations. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I think it's exciting. Uh, every game is going to be hard and uh, it's going to be yeah, a tough competition. Well, Joey, seeing some of the squads and how they're now taking shape, who looks even more dangerous with these changes? Oh, yeah, pro- oh, obviously, Samoa. They've uh, sort of racked up a few good uh, players. Uh, Tonga is always going to be strong. Um, PNG, Fiji, all, a lot of Pacific Island teams, uh, Cook Islands. <laughs> Jeez, you, mate, you got everyone in the final. All right, Joey, I'm going to put you on the spot here. The Kiwis are in the final, but Australia and England have missed out. Who are you going to be facing? Uh, fast, uh, probably Tonga. I like, yeah, Tonga's strong. Mate, what are your memories from 2008? Unfortunately, I wasn't, but you would have been a baby back then. What did it do for little boys? And girls like you and the whole sport in New Zealand. Yeah, that no, was definitely, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was uh, pretty special. Um, I didn't really watch too much league, but uh, I remember watching that final and, um, you know, seeing, um, you, seeing that Australia, Australia side was probably one of the greatest Australia sides, the likes of uh, Billy, Jonathan Thurston and all that. So um, to see them boys uh, beat um, that Australia side was pretty crazy as a, um, as a kid. I was just like, that was, that was um, crazy. And obviously Benji was um, doing his thing. He was, he was uh, sort of a, a light for a lot of um, young uh, Māori uh, kids in um, New Zealand. So um, that was special. And then obviously they won it. So um, they got to bring the trophy. I remember it came to uh, our town and we got to uh, see that, which was pretty cool. And um, yeah, I think I just bought a lot of uh, rugby league fans um, happiness and yeah made uh, kids probably want to play it a bit more and yeah it was pretty cool yeah it was a great win for the Kiwis is that what made you fall in love with rugby league yeah I think so I was uh, only young then and um, I mainly played union growing up um, but I just found that game um, pretty exciting I don't really watch too much league um, but I watched that game and um, see see, so, see those guys um, beat like the best team um, and I just remember, yeah, Benji um, scoring that try when um, Billy threw it back in. And um, yeah, and then obviously Adam Blair um, sort of secured it. Um, so yeah, I remember it um, pretty well. The haka was pretty special. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good memories there. 
um, and yeah, I felt like it sort of um, yeah made me uh, want to play for the Kiwis uh, one day. Well, on that point, are you and your teammates mindful of just how big an impact a win at this World Cup could have back home? Yeah, it's, it definitely can. Um, definitely for young kids um, that sort of play their sport or just yeah, just look look to play it. I think, like I said, I was watching Benji um, growing up, and he was. He was a sort of special player that I love to watch and um, yeah, we didn't have much in, in our town but we love sports um, so we, yeah, we used to watch a bit of rugby league here and there and definitely if um, uh, my goal was to obviously um, help this team uh, win, win the World Cup. Um, I know it will bring a lot of happiness among uh, a lot of kids in New Zealand um, uh, but yeah, I'm just obviously focused on my role. Yeah, it always meant so much to me, not just representing my country, but also my family too. Yeah, yeah, every time it's the biggest thing um, that I can play for or I can achieve in um, my rugby league career um, is playing, putting on their uh, black jersey. And yeah, it does uh, remind me a lot of um, home uh, when I put on their jersey, family. Um, a lot of uh, kids um, growing up in Tokoro and that, so um, yeah, family um, does play a big part in that and um, yeah, I feel like I reflect on that pretty good. Well, it's been a tough year so far for Coach Michael Maguire, but look, Kiwi Rugby League can be the real beneficiary of that. Yeah, no, nah, he's good, Madge. He's um, yeah, obviously been there f for a while now. I've had him when I first started in 18 and um, he sort of built this up for the World Cup, um, the whole whole campaign there when I first started. So he's um, he's a great uh, great coach and he's uh, really focused on um, sort of making the jersey a better um, better place. So um, yeah, we're just really excited um, to have him and yeah, we enjoy getting coached by him. Yeah, it's always a strange one coming up against club teammates. We've got James Tedesco, Victor Radley for England. How will you go against some of those Rooster teammates? Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I'm playing against some of the boys. Uh, so yeah, I'm not too sure how the composition will pan out. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say that I'll play against a few of the um, boys in different um, colours. So yeah, there are a lot of good mates of mine. Um, but yeah, there's still uh, competition when we're on the field, so. We've got the men, wheelchair rugby league and the women. It's, mate, it's going to be big. Yeah, I think it's, that's a big part of it, the inclusiveness uh, in rugby league, um, seeing all those uh, the women and obviously the wheelchair rugby league um, over there at the same time will be pretty cool and um, yeah I think it's uh, awesome for them they get to sort of be a part of that and we get to all embrace that as uh, fans and uh, watch that so it's yeah it's good. And it's not just rugby league fans as well it's going to be the whole of New Zealand getting behind you how exciting is that for you? Yeah I haven't I haven't played in one but I've, I mean I will watch rugby, rugby world cups and rugby league and I uh, they say it's the same. Um, yeah, I think all the countries um, get behind their country. Obviously, they want to see them do well. So, um, yeah, I guess that's what makes the World Cups and uh, makes it pretty special. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you joining us here. Thanks, Pat, and thanks, James. Well, James, thank you and everyone else for joining us. The Rugby League World Cup is coming, and with it, the best athletes in the world. <laughs>